go, starving decisors. Uh, so the lower court has to follow the decision of the higher court. Uh, uh, so the uh, higher court decision is binding on the lower court. Uh, horizontal. Uh, below that, uh, uh, for horizontal, uh, uh, so the issue is whether the court of the same level has to follow its own case. Uh, uh, so we have three different levels, uh, CFA, CA, and also CFI and below. Uh, below that, uh, uh, each of them have different legal rules. Uh, don't confuse them. Uh, I don't think that all the court use the same legal rules, uh, so they have different different rules. Uh, uh, Vaso, Desidenda, and also Obita, uh, uh, you have to load the difference between the two uh, concepts. Uh, and also you have to uh, mention uh, uh, the advantage and disadvantage of the doctrine of uh, the doctrine. Okay? So, uh, here's uh, the advantage and disadvantage. Uh, uh, very briefly, Advantage is certainty. Uh, the law will be very certain uh, if the court use the same legal principle. Uh, the law will be very certain. Uh, predictability. Uh, you can predict the outcome. Uh, because, uh, you know the law will use the same legal principle. Uh, so you can predict the outcome. Uh, and also consistency. Uh, uh, all the court use the same legal principle. So it's very consistent, very fair uh, to the people. Uh, uh, and also, uh, uh, of course, uh, the common law will also uh, develop. Uh, so, uh, but of course, it's very orderly, uh, very slowly. Uh, so, uh, orderly development of law. Uh, so, the, the the development is very low. Uh, uh, so, it's uh, also uh, no when when you tell your friend, uh, if your friend asks you uh, whether he should study law, uh, uh, what's your advice? Uh, it's very good. A uh, very good choice. Uh, why? Uh, why studying law is so good? Uh, after you have passed the exam, uh, you don't need to update your law. Okay? Uh, so you can use the law for many years. Uh, uh, you can use the same law. You can use the same PowerPoint until you pass away. Uh, okay? uh, it's only more something, right? uh, uh, So it's uh, very good. Uh, but if you study IT, uh, you are very busy. Uh, every year you have to update yourself. Okay? Uh, every, every year you have so a lot of new development. But for the law, uh, uh, we use the same law. Right? Uh, disadvantage, uh, injustice, and impeding the development of the law. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, because you are bound, the judge is bound by the legal principle, uh, uh, so the outcome may be unfair. Uh, another development is very slow, uh, not sufficient flexibility. Uh, because uh, the judge, has, especially the judge in the lower court, uh, they have to follow the decision of the high court, uh, so there's no flexibility. Uh, so these are the advantages and disadvantages of the doctrine of Paxton. Uh. Now we go to the, another, another chapter. Uh. Uh, chapter 6, legislation. Uh, we have two possible questions. Uh, the first one is passing of legislation. Uh, uh, it's not too hard. Uh, you cannot find this question in all the papers. How about the second one? Is it hard or not? Uh, that to be interpreted uh, very hard. Uh. Uh, so it's a very hard question. Uh, every year, uh, even though many students know it's a very hard question, uh, but not so, sometimes, not so many students will answer this question. Do you know why? So in college, they used to ask them, they are difficult. And also, one of the difficulties is that you have to memorize cases. Uh, this question, uh, for Doctrine of precedent, you only have to memorize in fact one case or even two cases. Uh, okay? uh, so, law society, uh, a solicitor, and law society in the year of 2008, uh, Colchester. Uh, uh, but for this question, you have to memorize, I think, around uh, uh, four to six cases. In fact, it's not too, the number is not too big. Uh, when compared with control law or tort law, uh, uh, six cases are not too difficult, uh, but uh, because it's the first module, uh, many students will oh, very difficult uh, to memorize a case. It's very difficult. Uh, uh, many students will oh, very difficult to memorize case. Uh, and also, every year, a uh, student will ask me the same question. Uh, many students will ask me the same question. The question, huh? Uh, many students will ask me the same question. This is an FAQ. Uh. 
frequently asked question, how do we have to memorize case name? Uh, what was all my name? Uh, students always ask, do we have to memorize case name for examination? Uh, how does that get case name? Uh, Martin, no see, uh, Martin, no see, uh, Loaded to memorize the gym in the past, uh, but you have to memorize the case name. Uh, it's very important. Uh, uh, it's extremely important for a closed book exam, unless it's an open book exam. Uh, if it's a closed book exam, you have to memorize the case name. Uh, it's something absolutely necessary. Especially if you are preparing for the LB examination, uh, uh, so you remember case name. Uh, uh, so it's important. Uh. Although many students will also ask me the same question. Uh, uh, will the examination paper be very different? Uh, how's it going to work? Look at this. Story. A lecture or you don't know, home trial was beaten to death. But the student, because of question, he said were too difficult. Uh, uh, you know, you know, uh, 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 after that incident, no lecture there to set to difficult questions. Now we now uh, this question, I go back to this question. Uh, uh, even it's not too difficult, uh, uh, of course, uh, many students will still have difficulty in understanding and distinguishing the four different approaches. Right? Uh, so, uh, for, for the four different approaches, uh, it can be grouped into two categories. Uh, or the little approach is one category. Uh, for, the, uh, for the remaining three, they belong to the same category. Why? Uh, because for little approach, uh, we look at the wording. Uh, little meaning. Uh, so, for example, uh, if I give you a cake and apple, uh, it means an uh, apple we are going to eat. Okay? Uh, so uh, this is the little approach. Uh, uh, for golden rule, mystery rule, purposive approach, uh, even though they have different emphasis, uh, what do they look at? They look at the intention of the legislation. Right? The reason behind the objective, the intention behind. Uh, so it's the difference between the first one and the remaining three. Okay, they can be classified into two categories, uh, even though uh, they have different emphasis. Okay? Uh, we can now go to the um, revision of uh, Question seven. Uh, question seven is the answer to this very hard question. Uh, uh, question seven. Uh, okay. Uh, statutory interpretation. Uh, 
And so apart from the common law approach, I usually the main emphasis is on the four different common law approach. Uh, we also have section 19 of the IGCO uh, chapter one, uh, interpretation and general causes order. Uh, uh, you are chapter one, section 19. Uh, and also we have four different common law approach. Uh, uh, so uh, first of all, uh, you have to explain the need for statutory interpretation. Why we have to interpret the legislation? Uh, legislation is already uh, written down in black and white. Okay? Uh, why do we still have to interpret? Uh, inter what's meant by interpret? Interpret means yeah, the guise again, explain. Ah, uh, 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 interpretation sometimes it can mean translation. Ah, uh, that's the guy find it. Ah, uh, sign you think this but interpretation in this context it means explain right? uh, to what is the job of the judge uh, only the judge under common law uh, only the judge can interpret the legislation uh, this is very different from mainland uh, in mainland uh, it is the job of the MPCSC so common law we have only the judge can interpret uh, the legislation. Uh, uh, so why we have to interpret? Uh, so the two main reasons is ambiguity. Un un ambiguity. What's meant by ambiguity? Uh, uh, because many terms, they have more than one meaning. Uh, so it's the reason for ambiguity. Uh, uh, many terms, they have more than one meaning. Uh, so it's the reason for ambiguity. Uh, the second one is Uncertainty, uh, uncertainty uh, is whether the legislation can be applied, can be used in this context. Uh, the difficulty is uh, uh, so when you're reading a legislation, you cannot find anything wrong. Uh, what's the most difficult situation? When you have to apply this rule to a certain situation, you have difficulty. Uh, you do not know the answer. Okay? Uh, so when someone asks you, oh, whether this session can be applied in this situation, many lawyers, they will have the difficulty. Okay? Uh, if they just have to explain, the law is not too difficult. Uh, everyone can do the job. Uh, but when you have to decide whether the rule can be applied in this situation is the most difficult one. Uh, because when people are writing the legislation, even though they have spent a lot of time, but what they cannot do, they cannot foresee all the possibility. Uh, when you are writing the law, uh, this is the most difficult one. Uh, when you are setting the rules, when you are setting the regulations, you cannot foresee all the possible situations. And when some situation arise, uh, you do not know the answer. It's the reason why we have to ask the court to interpret uh, the legislation. Uh, these are the, uh, so you say, uh, it, especially if it's a uh, section B question. I uh, feel that are many questions, they may be either section A or section B. Uh, for example, jury, sources of law, uh, uh, interpretation of legislation, right? Uh, sometimes they may be in session A, sometimes it may be in session B. Uh, what should be the difference? Uh, if it's in session B, your answer will should be more detailed. Uh, your session B is very much strong, dear. Or session A, I'm strong, session B, I'm strong. Sometimes. It's not good. Uh, uh, if the answer is just the same for session A question and session B. It's ridiculous. Uh, well, session A only 20 mark. Session B is 40 mark. Uh, your answer must be much longer. Okay? Uh, just like a lecture. Uh, uh, if the lecture is one hour, uh, so your, of course, your, 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 the content uh, so will not be so detailed. Uh, but if the, con if the lecture is three hours, uh, the content is the same, uh, you will be very ridiculous. Okay. Uh, you give a three hour lecture, uh, uh, after one hour, uh, it's the end of our lecture, uh, goodbye, okay? Uh, don't want them to die. Then you say, three hours, you say, 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 bye bye. Uh, it's not ridiculous. Then if you prepare for a three hour lecture, uh, 
your lecture must be more detailed. Uh, just like a section B question, uh, the answer must be more detailed. Uh, uh, don't give the same answer okay? uh, if the question is a section B question. Uh, section 19, uh, don't, uh, don't miss this part. Uh, uh, don't miss the reason, the need for statutory interpretation. Uh, okay? And also, uh, so you know, uh, for the approach, uh, uh, we have uh, the approach in section 19 of the ITCO. Uh, uh, so uh, even though this section is not too useful, uh, but still you have to mention this section uh, uh, for the purpose of examination. Uh. Okay, I'm going to talk about it again. If you miss, miss this one, you will lose some luck. Uh, uh, don't forget section 19 of the ICCO. Uh, uh, it means that an ordinance is intended to be remedial. So what does it mean? Ogaoseng, uh, uh, we all is only is going to remedy the defect of common law. Uh, uh, so the reason why we call it to be remedial. Ah, then I buy bogo to remedy the defect of common law. Uh, common law has a lot of limitations, especially when the society is progressing, is developing so quickly. Uh, uh, you cannot expect common law can cope with the development of the society. Uh, there are so many things new. Uh, for example, the electronic transaction. Uh, do you think the common law will have any rules about electronic transaction? In uh, common law so you need legislation okay, to remedy the defect of common law. Right? Uh, so it's the reason why we call it to be remedial. Uh, uh, so you should not just look at the wording. Uh, you have to ensure. Uh, so the law should be interpreted in such a way as to ensure that the object of the ordinance is a thing. Uh, it means that you should not just look at the wording. You have to look at the objective of the legislation. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, if you say, oh, smoking is not allowed, okay? uh, so smoke, when you say smoking is not allowed, uh, it's the little meaning, uh, uh, but you have to look at the objective. Why we do not allow smoking? Uh, so you know, we want to keep the air clean. Uh, we want to keep everyone healthy. It's the objective. It's the intent of the legislation. Uh, Uh, for and uh, of course, uh, we cannot just use this section uh, because this section is not too useful. Uh, uh, so uh, because the meaning is not so clear. Uh, so as a result, uh, we still continue to apply the four different common law approach. Uh, uh, so we have the four different approach. Uh, so little rule, golden rule, which you you should refer to my lecture notes, uh, to my PowerPoint. Uh, uh, and so uh, as well, if it's a section B question, you have to give a conclusion. Uh, after you have explained all the four different approaches, uh, you have to give a conclusion. Uh, uh, you have to state your opinion on whether the common approach are adequate or not. Uh, uh, you have to accept that language is not a tool of math mathematical precision. And that's some interpretation will always be necessary. Uh, uh, however, such interpretation should be minimal and necessary should be drawn with as much precision as possible. Uh, this is the conclusion you should give. Uh, uh, you have to give your uh, conclusion or personal opinion. Uh, uh, for the four different approaches, uh, you may just go to the uh, lecture notes. Uh, this one, uh, legislation, right? Uh, uh, usually, why we need legislative interpretation? Uh, 
or because we come across a situation, uh, we do not know whether the situation uh, we can apply the relevant statutory provision. Uh, 通常出現什麼情況,就是出現撞到一個新的情況,你估不到的,你就不知道了,OK?So uh, uh, when you come across a situation, uh, you don't know whether the law can be applied to this situation, okay? uh, it may be a situation you do not expect. Uh, so it's the key concept. Uh, uh, usually, uh, no, you cannot just, uh, uh, no, you cannot just, you, you will not just look at the legal rule and explain the law. Uh, uh, it's not too difficult. Uh, so the difficulty is when you come across a situation, uh, you do not know whether you can use the law for this situation. It's the reason why you need statutory interpretation. Uh, okay? uh, so, um, uh, these are the two reasons, uh, ambiguity, uh, uh, because uh, a verb or phrase is capable of having more than one meaning. Uh, there are more than one possible meaning. Uh, uh, for example, we have three possible meanings. Uh, you have to uh, decide which meaning uh, will be used in this context. Uh, uh, the second one is uncertainty, uh, uh, whether the provision applied to the fact before the court. Okay? Uh, whether uh, so the law can be applied in this situation, uh, we call it uncertainty. Uh, so and also sometimes uh, uh, you may also mention the two con two, the two texts. Uh, we have Chinese text and English text. Uh, but it's not a big issue in Hong Kong. Uh, uh, usually the judge will follow the English version. Uh, uh, you, we seldom encounter any situation. Uh, so when there's dispute between the Chinese version and English version, uh, it's one of the possible dispute. Uh, but it's not too important in Hong Kong. Then my Chinese my behind all the Chong Tai Sometimes. Uh, but it's not a big issue. Usually, because the judge will follow the English version instead of the Chinese version. Uh, uh, context, uh, okay. okay. Just skip this one. Uh. Uh, for a uh, different approach, uh, the third one is section 19. Uh, uh, so, uh, ordinance seems to be remedial, uh, such re to receive such fair, large, and deep rule construction. Uh. Uh, so it, it means that you have to look at the object of the ordinance. Uh, uh, you should not just look at the wording. Uh. Uh, so uh, it's the first principle of interpretation, but it's not something too useful. Uh, so we still continue to use the four different common law approach. Uh, uh, in fact, it can be grouped into two categories. Uh, little rules, uh, look at the wording. Uh, uh, for the other three approach, uh, we look at the intent of the legislature. A little rule uh, uh, is called grammatical rule. Uh, we just look at the verbs and verbal expansion uh, uh, to see if there's any ambiguity. Uh, if there's no ambiguity, uh, you just follow the little meaning of the legislation. Uh, uh, so it's very easy. Uh, uh, first of all, you have to know whether there's any ambiguity. Uh, if there's no ambiguity, uh, you just follow the wording of the legislation. Okay? Uh, it has no ambiguity. The verb use must be given the ordinary and natural meaning. Uh, a technical verb will have technical meaning. Uh, some technical jargon, professional jargon, uh, so, uh, some jargon in engineering. Uh, you have to follow the technical meaning. Uh, okay? uh, for ordinary verb, uh, so you are given the ordinary and natural meaning. Uh, uh, usually, especially if it's a uh, Section B question, you have to cite cases. Uh, first of all, you have to understand the four different approaches. And then you have to cite cases. Uh, if you do not cite case, uh, usually you can only get a very low mark uh, for this question. This is also the reason why so many students uh, do not answer this question. Uh, the first reason is that sometimes they do not quite understand uh, the difference between the four different approaches. Uh, sometimes they cannot memorize the case. Uh, so it's the reason why so many students give up this question. Uh, but in fact, this question is quite easy. Uh, uh, can you still recall this case? Uh, Hong Kong SAR and specific design. Uh, uh, so it's uh, involving section six, section seven, and also section nine of the employment ordinance. Uh, uh, so it's about section nine, uh, employer. Uh, so uh, this means the employee, uh, okay? uh, it's called 
somewhere this bit of taxi guy guy go ahead here somewhere this bit of it about uh, so uh, there's an ambiguity uh, below uh, under section 6 uh, uh, so low employers are terminating a contract of employment uh, of a female employee under section 6 and or section 7 uh, under section 15 uh, uh, so if you are already dialed uh, here uh, 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 so if a female employee is already pregnant uh, usually the employer cannot terminate uh, the employment uh, but it's only under section 6 or section 7 uh, so it does not mention section 9 Okay. Uh, so what's the interpretation? The interpretation is that the employer can terminate uh, the employment under section 9. Uh, 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 why we have this decision? Uh, because the court used which approach? Little approach. Uh, the court just said uh, uh, there was low ambiguity. Uh, the wording were very clear. Uh, so we should use little approach. Okay? Uh, we should use little approach. Uh, because, uh, literally, uh, so there was low restriction. Uh, it does not mention that the employer cannot terminate uh, the employment under section 9. He only mentioned section 6 or section 7. Uh, okay. uh, because there are different things. Uh, uh, section 6 is about termination by notice. Section 7 is termination by payment in lieu of notice. Uh, okay. uh, but uh, it does not cover section 9. Uh, it means that uh, the employer can still terminate the employment under section 9. Okay. Uh, well, because the judge used the literal approach. Uh, for the government, they argue that uh, the judge should use a purposive approach or mischievous. Uh, uh, for mischievous, you just look at the uh, intention behind. Uh, the intention behind Session 15 is to protect uh, the pregnant female employee. Uh, but the judge rejected this argument. Uh, because the judge think that uh, uh, so the wording were very clear. Uh, so he, the, he should use the literal approach instead of the issue. Golden rule, uh, the emphasis is to avoid some absurd or repugnant function. I'll tell you, the golden rule or current deal means that you are being a whole formal to avoid some ridiculous uh, what's meant by ridiculous? Uh, so the uh, landmark case is we sick well. Uh, uh, in this case, the defendant murder is murder. Uh, uh, if we use the little word, uh, uh, it will lead to a very ridiculous position. Uh, uh, the ridiculous position is that the son will get all the money. Uh, the son will get all the estate of the mother after he has killed the mother. Because uh, he does not think that he if we interpret the law by using the little approach, uh, uh, the outcome will be ridiculous. Uh, everyone will agree uh, if the son could get all the money, it would be ridiculous. Okay? Uh, so it's the meaning of golden rule. Uh, the golden rule trying to avoid. Uh, this ridiculous outcome. Uh, mischievous, uh, uh, mischievous, uh, so it identifies some mischief or defect which the common law did not cover. Uh, uh, there are the common law and more cover, right? okay? uh, Just like this guy. Uh, uh, for example, uh, common law has covered this part. For example, our common law has covered all this part, uh, but common law has not covered uh, the part in full color. Uh, our common law covered cover the blue color, the red color is not covered. Uh, if common law did not cover this part, what, what should we do? What should we do? 
Are you common law did not cover the part on in, in blue color? Ah, uh, there's a common law no cover, yeah. Then you have to pass legislation. Ah, uh, because you cannot request the judge to cover this part. Ah, you must give a good way. You can buy a part. Can you do so? Uh, can you tell the judge what decision he has to make? Yes or no? The answer is no. Well, you cannot interfere with the judiciary. Uh, you must go on your see for him. You must tell the judge to do something. You must tell him, "Hey, you must be careful, little boy. Little boy, you must be careful. 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 Little boy, you must be Uh, the only solution is to pass legislation. Uh, if the intention of the legislation is to cover this defect, uh, so this one is very useful. Uh, when you are going to interpret the legislation, uh, it's the historical background uh, of the legislation. Uh, it's something you have to know. Okay? Uh, so if you know uh, what defect the common law did not Couple, uh, you will identify the remedy provided by the legislature. Okay? Uh, so it's something very important. Uh, so how do you know? Uh, uh, you may refer to the explanation memorandum of the bill. Uh, uh, so uh, one of the very good examples is Smith and Hill. Uh, uh, so the law says that it's an offense for prostitutes or solicit in the street. Uh, 喺街嗰度招下咁啊犯法啦，咁你想逃避啊點啊 ？How can you avoid the law? 啊啊 ，for the positive 啊 ，the solicitor customer from a window or balcony 啊 ，if you use the little wood， 啊，你都 think the positive should be found guilty？ 啊 ，the answer is no 啊 ，if you use the little wood， 啊，你用 little wood 佢咪冇犯法咯？佢唔喺街嗰度嘛，喺喺個喺個窗嗰度嘛，喺個露台嗰度嘛，啊？ Uh, but if you, why they were found guilty? Uh, because the court used the mischievous. Uh, the court used the mischievous instead of the little. Uh, okay? uh, so uh, the court had the mischievous that the legislature intended to kill was to clean up the street. Uh, uh, so even though they were only soliciting customers from the window or balcony, uh, the effect was just the same. <laughs> 嗰個後果一樣係點啊？吸引咗好多叔啊，嘛，就話要你要啊 check 落 lots of uncle 啊，跟住啦，就 the effect is just the same， 誒，啊，所以 even though literally they had not committed any criminal offence， 啊 ，but the effect was just the same， 啊，比如話 they would attract a lot of uncle in the street， 啊，所以 it would cause confusion， 啊，所以 no， 啊，比如話 the intention was to clean up the street， 啊。Uh, now they attracted a lot of uncle in the street. Uh, uh, the effect was just the same. Uh, the effect was the uh, conduct was to promote sexual activity, uh, which, which was what the legislature had intended to forbid. Uh. Uh, so you can find that uh, if the court used a little rule, uh, a little rule, the positive will be found not guilty. Uh. Uh, so for them, uh, they think that they can avoid the law, uh, they can evade the law, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, they were found guilty. Uh. Uh, purpose of vote, uh, so we can use the uh, say no, we can say that uh, the per difference uh, is that the mischievous is the level version, uh, uh, purpose of vote is the board version. Uh, because, uh, sometimes uh, the legislation is not to cover the defect uh, which the common law did not cover. Uh, uh, so sometimes the law has uh, some other purpose, uh, so we use the purpose of vote. Uh, so it can be illustrated by the case uh, uh, Federal Council of Hong Kong and Charles Shusek, uh, he always said to the uh, 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 So uh, I think for the fact that uh, you can refer uh, to the slide. Uh, so uh, in the previous slide, we have already uh, explained the facts of the case. Uh, uh, so the facts uh, are quite difficult. Uh, uh, the facts are quite difficult, uh, but uh, you still have to memorize the facts of the case. Uh, uh, so the, uh, for this case, uh, the ambiguity uh, because of the um, uh, two sections. Uh, under section 21, subsection 1, the medical council has the power to remove the name of the doctor from the general register, either permanently 
我放 period of time 啊，可以係永久除去牌啦，或者一個段時間啦，可以 spread common 成啊啊，就啊 under another session 啊，啊 the council may in this absolute discretion allow or refuse an application to be restored 啊 to the register 啊啊，咁啊可以咧去申請復牌咧，就可以批或者唔批啊。So is there any ambiguity 啊 between the two subsection any conflict? Uh, if the removal is only for a period of time, uh, 如果就係除牌三年，咁三年到期應該可以復牌啦，係嘛？咁三年復牌去申請復牌咁樣點啊？就可以唔批喎，啊未 refuse 喎，咁啊有矛盾咯，係嘛？啊 ，if the council may refuse an application for restore, ah、uh, so three year does not mean three year. It may mean thirty years, ah, three years, three years. Ah, it's all three years. Ah, sorry, sorry. Ah, it's all three years. Ah, so no, ah, it will, so no, there will be some ambiguity. Ah, ah, if the removal is only for three years, then ah, if it's the case, ah, the council may not ah refuse the application. 啊！如果即係停三年咁夠期啊，俾我復牌啦，咁就可以唔俾佢復牌喎，咁慘喎啊！啊，所以呢個 ambiguity 啊，啊，所以啊，啲人哋啊，啊，所以 which one should you follow？ 跟咗邊個咯？應該最後，就跟咗呢個啦，就跟咗呢個。啊，啲人哋啊，就 conclude 啦啊，啊 ，we should follow this one 啊。啊 ，it means that the council may refuse the application for。Restoration 啊，你申請復牌佢又有權批嘅啊，即係坐咗三年過嚟啦，係咪啊 ？So why 啊？如果 the reason is very simple 啊，如果 the doctor had committed some other wrongs within the three-year period， 係咪啊 ？So is the reason why his application was not allowed 啊？喂，啊，所以啊 ，we have to look for the intention of the legislature 啊，啊，所以 we focus on the purpose or object。喂，啊，所以啊 ，this is the post used by the court 啊，啊 ，first of all you have to identify the purpose from its long title， 啊，所以 place the ordinance is in appropriate legal and social setting 啊，啊 ，these are the consideration you have to。Uh, say you have to put up, uh, you have to uh, know, you have to take into consideration. Uh, there are five elements of striking a balance between conflicting purposes, uh, statute dealing with similar area, tendency to avoid circularity, uh, so uh, to ensure provision in such a way to give effect to each provision, uh, uh, presumption against practical change in the law. Uh, these are the five considerations of the court. Uh. Uh, so uh, all the, these factors. Uh, will point to the conclusion uh, uh, the doctor will have automatic restoration. Uh. Uh, so we have two possible uh, interpretation of the law. Uh. Uh, the first one is automatic restoration, uh, 自動復牌，坐夠啊，自動復牌。第第三個 is、uh, restoration subject to approval of the medical council.、Uh, these are the two possible uh, interpretation of the section.、Uh. So uh, you have to mention, uh, say, um, extrinsic of A. Uh, extrinsic, what does it mean? Uh, extrinsic means something outside the legislation. Uh, in the past, uh, the judge will only look at the wording of the legislation. Uh, but nowadays, uh, you have to consider something outside the legislation. They uh, might say, you have to look at the wording of the legislation. So we have to look at something outside the legislation. Uh, and you have to interpret section 20 of the ordinance. And you should not just look at the section 20. You should look at some other reference material. Uh, but you cannot consider all the reference. Uh, because there are so much. Uh, but you can't say anything about the forum. You can't say anything about the forum. So many, right? Uh, so you have, to, you, know, you have to restrict the scope. Uh, or the extrinsic A. Uh, uh, so these are the uh, uh, these are the three requirements. Uh, 
Uh, the free from uh, so uh, in the past, all the extrinsic A were excluded. Uh, so now the rule has been relaxed. Uh, uh, these are the free from uh, the first of all, uh, legislation is ambiguous. Uh, the material rely on consists of one or more statement by a minister or other promoter. Uh, usually, it's, uh, there is a policy statement by the minister. Uh, in Hong Kong, uh, it's the uh, policy bureau secretary. Uh, in this bill was uh, proposed by the secretary of Secretary of Security. So you have to refer to the statement made by the Secretary for uh, Public Security in Hong Kong. Uh. And also the statement rely on upon are clear. Uh, so you cannot refer to other article in the newspaper. So you should not consider uh, those articles written by other people. Uh, you should only refer to the a uh, statement made by the relevant government official. Uh, uh, this is called the uh, uh, rules in the case paper and uh, okay, uh, that's all for uh, 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 chapter 6. Uh, uh, now we go to chapter 7. Uh, uh, chapter 7, uh, so when, um,
uh, uh, some many people are exempted. Uh, lowly to memorize all the exemptions. Uh, I just mentioned some of them. Uh, uh, I've been told uh, uh, some examples. Uh, member of the executive on the control, public officer, person, and also a certain actual practice, doctor, dentist, and rest. But uh, we never uh, uh, suggest that. Uh, uh, these are the eligibility. Uh, so you have to explain uh, who are uh, eligible. Uh, uh, so, and also, uh, there are a lot of criticism. There are many exemptions. Uh, too many exemptions. Uh, Age requirement are unduly restrictive. Uh, okay? uh, possession of academic degree, uh, qualification is not necessary. Uh, uh, some, uh, some criticism is on the quality. Uh, right? uh, but just so, uh, some criticism is on the quantity. Uh, quantity, usually, uh, it means we don't have enough jewel. Uh, jewel. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 the, the age limit can be extended to 70. Now it's 65. Uh, uh, it can be extended to 70. Uh, so it's uh, one of the criticisms. Uh. Another, uh, uh, the likely to accept an impossible uh, defense. Uh, sometimes may be swayed by eloquent uh, counsel. Uh, because I, I will see a uh, uh, So this is the proposal reform. Uh, uh, even though we have so many criticisms, uh, uh, we have uh, many proposals for reform. Uh, uh, we reduce the number of exemptions uh, so that more people will be eligible. Uh, uh, all that the age limit uh, introduced for the patient test to increase the pool and competence of children. Uh, the more child in Chinese, uh, it's already done now. Uh, nowadays, uh, we have more child in Chinese than English. Uh, introduce academic and professional population. Uh, uh, make sure uh, give reason for the decision. Uh, some are more confident, con conjurers, uh, for some, uh, some people are not suggest uh, to allow jewel to be interviewed. Uh, uh, so, of course, it's something very uh, dangerous. Uh, a lot of they are, uh, for the reporter, they cannot uh, see the jewel. Uh, you do not even know who are they. Uh, they are confidential. Uh, uh, the identity is confidential. We have to protect them. Chapter 7, uh, so the three main points. Uh, uh, the first one, eligibility or criteria for Jewish service. Uh, uh, the second one is criticism. The third one is proposal for reform. Uh, if it's a section B question, uh, your answer must be more detailed. Okay? Uh, your answer should be three to four pages if you use double spacing. Uh, uh, so don't be so simple as uh, the Answer in the revision manual. Uh, little uh, the more you are going to the more you are uh, It's quite insufficient. Uh, so it's only the outline uh, for your answer. Uh, your answer should be much more detailed. Uh, you want to have a higher mark. Uh, uh, if you are very satisfied with a C, of course, uh, you can do that. Uh, a C or a C, I'll put it 
and you want to have a distinction art, you have to work harder. Okay, uh, uh, ADL, uh, ADL, user, uh, you have to explain what is meant by ADL. Uh, you have to give example of ADL, and also you have to explain the advantage of ADL. Uh. Uh, so ADL, uh, it means uh, method of settled dispute. Uh, that's different from litigation. Uh. Uh, the traditional way is to uh, is litigation. Uh, but uh, now we have some alternatives uh, to litigation as uh, they are called ADL, uh, alternative dispute resolution. Uh. Uh, so for this one, uh, uh, so it's only uh, the advantage of arbitration. Uh, legal, the, uh, this is, uh, uh, we cannot generalize the situation. Uh, uh, we, all, we have different types of uh, ADL. Uh, which, are the, which two are the major ones? Uh, uh, we have six ADL. Uh, which two are the major ones? Uh, arbitration and also mediation. Two major ones. So we have to know uh, we have six, eight, six types of ADA, uh, but the two major ones are arbitration uh, and also mediation. Two guys, okay? uh, they are very different in nature. Uh, uh, advantage of arbitration are uh, flexibility, neutrality, confidentiality, Finality and also expertise. Uh, these are the advantage of arbitration. Uh, uh, mediation. Uh, so we are more uh, advantage, uh, uh, more constructive and less confrontational uh, environment. Uh, you may better control the outcome, promote communication, more efficient, confidential, uh, lot and impose settlement, uh, more flexible, etc. Uh, also, we have six types of ADL. Uh, uh, so if you are required to, uh, of course, uh, you must be familiar with arbitration and also mediation. Uh, right? uh, for other four, uh, very easy. Uh, you can, if you have to uh, give three example, uh, you can give negotiation. Uh, the easiest one is negotiation. Uh, negotiation, that's console, uh, so it's very easy. Uh, so it's an okay. easy one, uh, just to negotiate the outcome. Uh, about, uh, I, give you, I offer to give you uh, one million to settle the dispute. Uh, you keep a counter offer of two million. Uh, or, hey, for example, I made it. They are, hey, you keep on my own negotiation. Uh, it's very simple. Okay? Uh, negotiation is something very common and very simple. Uh, Roll it to memoirs. Okay? Uh, so, mini trial is a more formal negotiation. Uh, uh, this one is most difficult. Uh, you can explore this one. Uh, expert determination. Uh, uh, you got Jim Gak. Expert determination. I use it. You call an expert. Uh, for example, a valuer. Uh, you want to load the market rental. You ask a uh, valuer. You ask a surveyor to fix the market rental. Uh, it's called expert determination. Uh, but this one is quite complicated. Uh, uh, consideration and mediation are just the same. Uh, but consideration is the term used by the government. Uh, for example, the labor department or the Equal Opportunity Commission. Uh, consideration. Okay, uh, for mediation, consideration, uh, they are more or less the same. Uh, but consideration, uh, uh, mediation is a more useful term, more popular term now. Okay, uh, uh, but the government still use the term conciliation. Uh, Uh, so it's ADR. Uh, uh, then we go to uh, the next one is uh, legal profession. Uh, uh, so we have mentioned before uh, about legal uh, profession. Uh, sometimes There are so many possible questions. Uh, uh, so I think uh, you may. Uh, some of them may be uh, more important. Uh, for example, why is your audit? Uh, uh, why is your audit or uh, conflict of interest? Uh, it may be more important. Uh, uh, you may go to the um, lecture book. Uh, uh, you can see, uh, so uh, for example, uh, uh, why is your audit? Uh, uh, well, then you should know uh, we have uh, uh, two 
separate bunch, uh, uh, so uh, we have solicitor and also barrister. Uh, uh, for solicitor, uh, they only have wage of order up to district court. Uh, uh, for barrister, they have unlimited wage of order. Uh, uh, wage of order, that should take him far in the uh, uh, The right to speak before the court. Okay? It's called wage of order. Uh, uh, for solicitor, they have limited wage of order only up to district court. Uh, barrister, they have unlimited wage of order. Uh, uh, so it's the reason why they have a conflict. Okay? Uh, so we have conflict between solicitor and first. Uh, uh, nowadays uh, we have the uh, say uh, we have extended the voice of order for solicitor. Uh, for solicitor they can apply to be a solicitor advocate. Uh, uh, they got your solicitor advocate. Uh, uh, so uh, for solicitor who have five year uh, of experience, uh, uh, they can apply to be solicitor advocate. Uh, Okay, uh, so um, uh, so now uh, we have around uh, 75 uh, uh, as of August 2020. Uh, uh, it's, it may well be the most updated figure, but I think it's more or less the same. Uh, uh, but in fact, uh, in reality, it's not something so successful. Uh, according to many uh, bears, uh, they mentioned that a solicitor advocate is not so successful. Uh, not so many people would like to uh, fire a solicitor advocate. So uh, no, many times they still uh, retain uh, barrister instead of solicitor advocate uh, for high court action. Uh, uh, then some solicitor advocate. Uh, yeah, the so, yeah, they, uh, still, uh, uh, most kind they will prefer a barrister uh, instead of solicitor advocate. Uh, even though they have a qualification, uh, they have the wide audience in the high court, uh, but uh, they don't have too many uh, business. The two bunch are so we have uh, barrister and also solicitor. Uh, fusion, uh, fusion, uh, John Hopkins, uh, uh, fusion means the merger of the two bunch. Uh, so we have advantage and also disadvantage. Uh, uh, some people argue that there will be some advantage where it reduce costs, more efficient, enhance the relationship between lawyer and and also we have some uh, possible disadvantage, also we have case uh, against uh, fusion. Uh, also uh, quite uh, important issue is about solicitor between the, uh, between the means the contract uh, between the solicitor and the client. Uh, also we have the uh, um, conflict of interest, uh, termination of So you should know something about uh, That's all for travel line. Uh, usually, are uh, uh, not so advisable to study travel line uh, because uh, there are so many possible questions uh, in travel line. Uh. And then the last one should be uh, legal aid. Uh. Uh, legal aid is the only exception. Uh, we are in legal aid, uh, there may be uh, some uh, problem time question. Uh, but the question, uh, so for the format of the question, uh, uh, you can refer to the uh, study manual. Uh, in the study manual, you you can recall that uh, in the study manual we have uh, some problem type questions. Uh, usually the question are very simple. Uh, it's very different from the problem type question in contract law. Uh. Uh, for chapter 10, uh, the most important thing uh, is that you have to know uh, we have three different legal aid schemes. Uh, in the under the legal aid ordinance, uh, uh, legal aid department uh, the same uh, So in the legal aid department, uh, so we have three different legal aid scheme. Uh, all the legal aid scheme is for civil case. Supplementary legal aid scheme uh, is also for civil case. Uh, and also we have the legal aid in criminal cases. It's for criminal cases. Uh, all right. Uh, so uh, for each scheme, uh, you have to know the eligibility, exception, and also the uh, means and merit test. Uh, so for the table, uh, you can refer to this table. Uh, uh, table okay, uh, uh, so these are the three different legal aid schemes. Uh, you may refer to slide 31. Uh, uh, so uh, we have two tests, means test, and merit test. Uh, means test, what's meant by means test? It means the income and also the asset 
of the applicant 啊，入適合資產審查啊，簡稱入適審查嘅唔啱嘅，要要計埋個資產嘅啊啊，依 consider both the income and also asset of the applicant 啊。啊 ，low need to know what's meant by financial resources 啊，啊 ，you only need to know the concept of financial resources 啊。You don't need to know the detail 啊，如果 is very very complicated 啊，啊邊啲計邊啲唔計，好複雜啊，唔需要識啊。咁 you only need to know the term financial resources 啊。All these degree financial resources one more than four hundred and twenty thousand and four hundred 啊，啊四百二萬四，四百啊。咁咧 supplementary degree 啊，就去到二百一十萬。誒、okay? 啊 five 啊 four。Okay, they have the same means test. Ah, feel that ah, ah for all the legal scheme and legal aid in criminal cases, ah, they have the same finance, same means test. One hundred twenty thousand. Ah, ah, very good test. Ah, ah, civil case, ah, we use reasonable ground. How about criminal case? Ah, criminal case is whether it desirable in the interest of justice. Ah, so we have different. Very test for criminal case and civil case. Ah, uh, other than that, uh, other than three different scheme, uh, we have we also have the law the duty lawyer scheme. Uh, why? Uh, why you need to buy duty lawyer? Ah, uh, uh, because in magistrate, ah, uh, there's no legal aid scheme for magistrate case. Ah, uh, 裁判處咧就冇 legal aid 啊，即係點啊？就 duty lawyer 啊嘛 ，OK？ 啊，比如。All the magistrate case, ah, we only have duty lawyer scheme. Ah, it will be covered by the duty lawyer scheme. Ah, ah, this is called Dong Jin or Si Gai Wang. Ah, ah, collectively, ah, it's called duty lawyer service. Ah, all together, we have four different scheme. Ah, duty lawyer service. Ah, they have four different scheme. Ah, ah, this one, ah, 整体叫 duty lawyer service. 其实一个机构嚟嘅，咁嚟啊。啊 ，feel so that in fact is something like a commission or a society. Ah, ah, the money is from the government, but the management is independent. Ah, 钱就政府俾嘅，一定俾业绩部啊。咁啊，大家就行政啊，独立嘅啊。啊 ，so we have a council for this service. Ah, they operate four different scheme. Ah, the most important one is the duty lawyer scheme. Ah, 当值律师计划。啊，呢个就最耐历史啦。啊，啊，依。Cover all the legal representation in criminal cases in magistrate court. Ah, uh, so in magistrate court, ah, uh, there's no legal aid, ah, uh, from the legal aid department. Ah, ah, follow me. Just you got it. I, I carry the fine line. Ah, ah, tribunal court, ah, you cover. Ah, ah, so for magistrate court, ah, uh, all the cases are handled by the duty lawyer scheme. Ah, uh, for other scheme, ah, uh, this one is very minor. Ah, uh, free legal advice scheme, terror law, ah, uh, they are very minor. Ah, uh, ah, uh, but. Hong Kong now they are the Convention Against Torture Scheme is also quite important, but it's not uh, so important to Hong Kong citizens. Uh, it's only for uh, refugees. Ah, this one is only for the people of Hong Kong. Ah, we Hong Kong people are not doing well. Ah, 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 嗰啲政治迫害啊、難民啊嗰啲咁嘅嘢，啊，所以 even though this scheme is quite important， but it's not so important to Hong Kong citizens 啊。啊 ，so for the duty lawyer scheme， 啊 ，what is the basis？ 啊 ，what's the criteria？ 啊 ，usually they have low means test， 啊，即係 low merit test 啊，啊冇個 merit test 嘅，啊，你去任何人申請都得㗎，總之就係呢啲啊。They only count your gross annual income。啊，就係睇呢個入息嘅啫，就唔係睇呢個 financial resource 嚟噶啦。啊 ，they do not consider your asset。啊 ，even though you have many flat， 啊 ，you are still eligible。啊 ，for duty lawyer service。啊，就係你幾層樓都都都得㗎，點解？就睇你邊級啊。啊，比如我哋 use a simple formula， 啊，你 just look at your gross annual income。啊 ，if you are retired but you have a many asset， 啊 ，you are still eligible。揸住十層樓都得㗎，因為你冇錢冇收入嘛，你你睇下冇人揾工啊 ，OK 啊，所以要私屋應求啊 ，OK 啊，所以啊 ，if your goals and income 啊、uh, uh, 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 ，啊 ，does not exceed two two hundred and ten thousand 啊，廿一萬，大約一個月幾多啊？啊，廿
啊，就係萬六到啊，啊，就係萬六到啊，即係萬七啦。你萬七到啦，一個月平均要七十二個月計啊。所以如果 divide by twelve 啊 ，so it's around seventeen thousand 啊。OK， 啊，所以如果 income is only ten thousand， you are eligible。如果 income， 如果 monthly income is twenty thousand， you are not eligible， 係嘛？你每個月賺兩萬蚊咁多啊！啊，所以 they use a simple formula 啊，個 legal department they use a more 啊 complicated formula 啊。啊，所以啊 ，the question usually 啊 ，is whether 啊 a certain person is eligible to legal aid 啊 ，for the topic of legal aid 啊 ，so you have to go to the Okay, now so when you have to go to the, uh, you have to refer to the, uh, you have to refer to the workbook, ah, uh, this uh, study manual, ah, uh. uh, so for the typical issue, typical question, ah, uh, ah, uh, you have to go to the, ah, uh, you have to go to chapter ten, ah, uh. uh, chapter ten of the manual, ah. Uh. Uh, so in chapter 10 of the manual, you can find so many uh, sample questions. Uh. Uh, okay, uh, for example, uh, so in uh, page 172, uh, uh, so uh, for example, uh, this one, uh, Wong is a hawker. Uh, uh, he broke the entrance to change premises. Uh, so your job is to see whether, to consider whether Wong will be eligible to legal aid. Uh. Uh, financial resources are uh, it's only fifty thousand. He can pass the means test, uh, but can he pass the merit test? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, because he broke the entrance of other people. Uh, it will not be reasonable. He does not have any reasonable ground uh, to take the action. Ah, he broke the entrance of other people. Ah, he does not have any reasonable ground to take the action. Ah, he broke the entrance of other people. Ah, he does not have any reasonable ground to take the action. Ah, he broke the entrance of other people. Ah, he does not have any reasonable ground to take the action. Ah, 啊，跟住都啊，啊呢個咧，呢個就係誒 MacCon 啊，啊 MacCon 咧就冇 merit test 嘅，啊 so 啊、um, ，we only look at his income 啊，啊 the income 啊 has he pass can he pass a means test？ 第一就到啦，啊即係 means test 咧就係十幾萬嘅啊，啊咁三十萬過咗啦啊，啊 so for D 啊，啊 he cannot pass the Means test, ah, uh, uh, so he will not be eligible to legal aid under the duty lawyer scheme, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, you are the financial. You are is seventy thousand, ah, just done, ah. Okay, let me see. Income is only one hundred twenty thousand, ah. He can pass the means test, okay. Ah, uh, so for the duty lawyer scheme, ah, uh, they do not consider your financial resources, ah. Uh. 啊，你個 financial resource 係咁睇嘅，啊，你 only look at your income, annual income 啊，啊，啊 ，so if he was charged before the district court 啊，啊 ，if he only have the financial resources of ten thousand, one hundred thousand 啊 ，he will be eligible to legal aid 啊，啊，如果 financial resource 十萬蚊你就過到，啊，就就過到個 means test 啦。啊，阿波羅波，啊，羅波啊 ，question four 啊 ，so is 啊。For this one, uh, it depends on whether, I think this is an old question. Uh, in the past, uh, he cannot pass the mean test, uh, but now I think he can pass the mean test. Uh, uh, so, no, uh, if he, uh, if your financial resources is more than the limit uh, under the ordinary medical scheme, uh, he can apply for a supplementary degree scheme. Uh, you go to the uh, ordinary degree scheme, or you convert to all your supplementary degree scheme. Uh. Uh, this one is also the same. This one, uh, no. Uh, he has to use a supplementary legal scheme uh, because the financial resources is 1.8 million. Uh, uh, he cannot uh, pass a mean test of the ordinary legal scheme. Uh, so these are the uh, sample question. Uh, uh, so you have to, for each question, uh, usually you, first of all, you have to know, uh, especially if the case is a mad court case, uh, so you have to know uh, it will be covered by the duty lawyer scheme. 啊，用根據如果係 Mac Court 咧，仲用啲 duty law scheme 嘅啊。啊 ，for other court， you may consider whether it's a criminal case or civil case。We have civil case， we have two different scheme， ordinary legal scheme and also supplementary legal scheme、okay?。誒，啊，得數啊。啊，所以啊，要 what you have to memorize 啊
passes. Uh, whether the case will be heard in the uh, MAC court or uh, other court. Uh, if it's uh, to be heard in the MAC court, you have to use the duty lawyer scheme. If it's uh, heard in other court, you have to use the three different legal scheme. Uh, so it depends on whether it's civil case or criminal case. Uh, criminal, by technical law. Uh, civil, by technical law. Right. Uh, so civil, uh, uh, we have two different schemes. Uh, uh, so uh, it depends on the different lines on the means test. Okay? Uh, so if you uh, have exceeded the amount, uh, so it will be uh, covered by the supplementary legal scheme. Uh, that goal of sales of demand is uh, uh, supplementary legal scheme. Uh, if, 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 if the financial resources does not exceed this amount, uh, uh, so it will be covered by the ordinary legal scheme. Uh, but if you have exceeded this amount, uh, so it will be covered by the supplementary legal scheme. Uh, 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 for civil cases, uh, the merit is reasonable. Uh, for criminal cases, uh, the merit is whether desirable in the interest of justice.